Dome. Thank you so much for tuning into IAB. We're happy to present Apathy versus SS Hard Read. Hard Read in the past has been repping a, a Zelda from time to time, but it seems like he's going to be pushing down B and going straight for that Sheik. Game one going to be on Battlefield. So uh, with Apathy, he he's one of those guys that does a great job representing you, uh, the UNT crowd, the rest of those Dent Knights out there. And he he's the only other person out here besides uh, Launchables that plays Toon Link. At least to the to, to you know to a very to a decently high level, uh, he knows he knows that he uses these bombs, these back airs that combo into themselves, and does a great job of putting damage on the board. However, Sheik, on the other hand, not afraid to use these long hitboxes that she has and use those forward airs, use those fares, use those back airs to abuse the fact that whenever you get in on this character, you can make some crazy combo game out of it. Oh my god, he almost took that stock with that up B. Apathy doesn't have a jump, and doesn't. there's the stock. Yeah, he doesn't have a stock either now. So, um, Hardry doing a good job of keeping, maintaining the lead right now and just staying at center stage. Uh, Apathy, though, not having it. If he can use these disjoints, he's going to continue to do so. She kind of lacked luster coming back onto the stage against someone who has that long disjoint going upwards, and Apathy cashed in there keeping it simple. Yeah, that down smash coming in so fast, clearing that stock. Relatively close game though, but here comes the grab game that we were expecting from Hard Read. Kind of ends it a little bit early, opts for some uh, from some normals and tilts instead to go ahead and rack up some percentage rather than relying on uh, re-grabs. Ooh, okay. Apathy, I see you, dude. I see your combo game. It's very good. And Hard Read's gonna just try to keep it simple, put them up on the platform and set them up for those fares. Uh, Sheik, this time around, you you saw the changes in 3.6b, uh, which were somewhat changed uh, in 3.6f, where it's kind of, it's the, the throw game for the character is now for the back throw and down throw. It's the same as 3.5. However, the knockback growth has increased scaling. So eventually, whenever they hit you with that mix-up, you will eventually combo out. Uh, but, yeah, so we can probably expect the grab games uh, a lot more prevalent, I think, at the lower percents. Correct. For re-grabs, whereas uh, at high percents, you're expecting grabs to lead up into uh, fares and options like that. So now, he's looking for the down air. He's looking for the pop-up into up air, especially when you get him at that high. This character is relatively kind of on the medium to light side. So it's not that hard to really take this character off the top just like this. He's working hard, though. He has him yeah. at 165. It's not... <laughs> He needed a sweet spot there. He needed a sweet spot there, and he was an unable to do so, and it's really costing him. His Apathy able to still put on a little more extra credit. I love the recovery mix-ups. Finally gets that sweet spot up where we were waiting for and takes the stock. 35% of extra credit from Apathy. That's not bad. The way that he led up to it, though, is that he recognized Apathy had to up B back onto the stage, and he was said to himself, you know what? This isn't going to be that much knockback, so why don't I crouch cancel this, use down tilt immediately as that pop-up, and then go for the up air. Which is really smart. Uh, you see Sheik's th this time around know how to really mix in the down tilt whenever whenever it really uh, pleads the case. So for instance, if they accidentally DI in and towards, and maybe they are too far down for them to catch them with fair again, they'll do down tilt and then they'll go into fair. So they have way, uh, Sheik's have great ways to increase the combo game between both of the tilts. The side tilt and as well as the down tilt. And keeping it simple, uh, Apathy taking stocks here, just grabbing the ledge. Yeah, I, I, you know, it, I like the idea of the recovery mix-up from Hard Read, but Apathy just exerted some great patience. And we saw that patience beforehand. Hard Read tried to go for a down smash. Apathy had the presence of mind just to wait it out. And look at how much damage is being exerted right now. Hard Read back into the corner. Finds a way to wriggle out of it, but Apathy using that disjoint, mm. setting up for that up B, I don't know if Hardread's going to be able to make this back. He's that not. edge hog is going to go ahead and seal out game number one. That's a two stock in favor of Apathy. I, my hat tip to you, sir. That was pretty good. Uh, my, my, my microphone. I, I tip my microphone I to you. I tip my microphone to you, sir. <laughs> Booker T is in the building. So <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, wrestling. we got wrestling. Right? So you got wrestling on deck? Wrestling. Wrestling? Wrestling. Raster? Yeah. I like the character. Yeah. He's pretty good. The he bird. just does things. And then he claps into this. Oh, he you clap lose. And you feel good. Yeah, it feels great. So, clap a clap. Now you have uh, a bit of a change here. Uh, it's an interesting stage, uh, stage choice by Hard Read, because if he manages to pop Apathy up onto one of these platforms, it's great setup for him to use those fares. Um, but Apathy can also use two Link's back air strings that combo into each other, potentially take him up these platforms and continue to elevate her on and add an extra percentage. I've seen some crazy combos with this character. Oh, he nearly had it there. Oh, let's see what we can maybe expect from both of these players. Relatively close right now, but those disjoints are a little bit difficult for Harvey to deal with. He's been getting caught a lot with some of these aerials. So now, Apathy sitting at the edge. Tries to, oh, if he had just held edge there, he would have been great. But that's going to be enough to finish him with just simple with a forward, uh, forward smash. So, 
The other thing that you can see that Apathy will do uh, is that at higher percentages, once he gets them to the triple digits, he's not afraid to go in there and use dash attack because it pushes them just far enough to where there's not much they can do. Wow! Great stuff from Hard Read, avoiding the arrow and just dropping down quickly enough to go in for that forward air. Yeah, that, that forward air setup was fantastic. Like you mentioned, able to avoid that projectile while simultaneously setting up. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But one thing that I gotta see from Hard Read, especially if he wants to bring this back, I need to see bigger punishes out of the openings that he's getting because it seems like he's getting these stray hits here and there that don't really lead into too much, whereas Apathy gets a lot anytime he gets pretty much any option on him. And that's interesting because Sheik overall, pretty intrinsic in the combo game. So I'm, I'm curious exactly as to what decisions Hard Read is making that's preventing some of these punishes from happening. He's also getting hit relatively low. Whenever he's getting hit off stage, he has to come from, he's not really getting hit that far upwards, right? He's getting hit high, horizontally and then a little bit vert, uh, downward. So he's having difficulties getting back onto the stage. Apathy's doing a great job of edge guarding. He's going to take him off the top. Oh wow. my god. That was an insane string. I'm not sure if that was a zero to death or not, but absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous from Apathy. Having Hard Read down to just one stock, there's like a middle down smash. You can see that Hard Read really wants to take this stock out as quick as possible, and Apathy right there ready to go ahead and punish that over-eagerness. Now, Apathy, he's really doing a good job com continuing to pile on the effect of him. But Hard Read's good job, uh, does a better job of just saying, you know what? I, I got some things on my own mind that I want to show you. I got some combo game for you. Oh. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier, is that Toon Link does such a good job whenever he's standing above you. Ooh, that was he just slipped in there and grabbed it. Good conversion into forward air. Hard read, trying to charge some needles. He needs whatever he can get right now because at 88%, it, it isn't going to take much for Toon Link to finish him off here. You can see the dash attack finishes. You can see the ups, uh, up bees. You can even see that. And you, again, the down smashes, man. A little bit too committal, I feel, overall. It gives Apathy plenty of time to go ahead and set up for punishes. And I think that the punish game is really what separated these two. Look at how much damage Apathy was able to get from a single opening and compare it to how much Hard Read was able to get. Hard Read definitely had some moments, I think, in game one. Correct. But especially in game two, the punish game just felt so much more refined for Apathy's end there rather than... At least three times that you saw yes. Hard Read go for down smash that was completely whiffed. And then you saw full punishes from Apathy. So exactly. That's, I think, a couple of the whiff punish attempts really were where Apathy made a lot of money. That was really fun.